Hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel. Right today I want to introduce to you the Merlin 75 PD Power Pack from Power Traveller. Now I just want to say that this battery pack has been an absolute blast to use. It really has allowed us to keep, keep my drone in the air, my cameras charged up and has been great on our multi-day backpacking adventures. It also allows us to keep our laptop topped up, especially when we're away from a power source. If you're interested in the Merlin or any of the Power Travelers uh, products, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below this video. That's it, it's the little tab, it's a little tab, drop down bit of thing below this video. If you got it, brilliant. All right guys, now I'm back in the garage. So like I said previously, I've been testing this battery pack. Now, the first thing I did was tested its capacity. So this is rated 74 watt hours. So I stuck it on my battery capacity checker, one of these. Put my hand in front of it so you can see it. One of these. Now, I actually got 64 watt hours. So I was like, well, this is rated to 74. Why is my battery capacity saying 64? So there's 10 watt hours missing there. So I got my laptop and fired off an email to Power Traveler and said, basically, I'm not getting what it says on the box. And their response, thanks for your email. Some of the capacity also gets used for keeping safety features and internal components running and running the LEDs. So you do lose a little of the capacity that way too. We tend to conservatively work with 80 to 90% as usable capacity. In reality, it's usually more than that, but it helps to be cautious. Now, what Power Traveller is saying there Lithium batteries need some form of battery management system because it needs a high and low voltage disconnect. I also use such a thing on my battery lithium builds. Now this protects the batteries from high and low voltage disconnect. These need power constantly just to monitor the batteries to the state of charge. So that's what's going on there guys. So I'm happy with the response with Power Traveller and um, I'm happy to continue on with some more of my testing. So I did another capacity test just to see what I get. Now Power Traveller says I can charge my phone between five to eight times. Now obviously that depends on the size of the battery in your phone. I've got the Google Pixel 3a. So I charged everything all up and I started on the 24th of September to the 5th of October and then I charged everything up on the 5th because it doesn't take long. And then I did the test again from the 5th of October to the 16th of October. Now, both of those tests were 11 days. So my phone normally just lasts just over a day. So that roughly over the course of kind of over a week, 11 days, that worked out to be about right. So I'm again, I'm happy with this. And I thought if you're backpacking around these funny countries, I thought that's blinking amazing. You can charge your phone, keep going for that many amount of days, which I thought was great. Now I want to show you this pretty smart feature from the Power Traveller which I think may come in handy. Now I'm currently charging it from a 3 amp uh, USB power source but I'm also charging three devices at the same time. Now as you can see my phone it was doing 700 milliamps, there you go 758 milliamps which is pretty good. Now a reason why I think this is handy is because if you're in your hotel or your hostel you want to normally you try and charge one thing at a time before you go to bed. But here we can put all of our devices on charge. We wake up in the morning and everything is done. So only one, only one charger required and a couple of extra leads. The two USBs on top also support charging. One's a USB and the other is a USB-C. Well, on this part of the test, I wanted to take the battery pack apart just to see if the inside build quality matched the external.
Now the tops and the bottom have got an O-ring, this is to ensure it stays IP65 rated. And on the printed circuit board you can see a temperature sensor. This is to ensure if the battery pack got too warm or a battery failed, the battery pack will then do a disconnect. You can also see the beautiful printed circuit boards, there's no expense being paid there, and the soldering is neat and tidy. Now the batteries Power Traveller are using are four 21700s. Now these are not to be confused with the more popular 21058s. These 21700s have a larger capacity. Now Power Traveller sell these battery packs with the ability to charge them from a solar panel. Now that is absolutely brilliant. So when you're out on your multi-day walks and you come back to your base camp, these can be inside your tent, the solar panel outside, and these can be charged up when you're out during the day. Now the solar panels from Power Traveller also fold up, so it gives you the ability to put them in your backpack, so they're super easy to carry around. Now just a summary, I really enjoyed my time with the Power Traveller 75PD Merlin and I think I'm going to continue using it on my adventures and because I think it is brilliant and it's, I've had no problems with it. I also dropped it which is a bit of a shame, I scratched it but it wasn't too badly. So it's an aluminium case with a kind of a rubber mount that kind of shows the USBs inside. And it's a simple push button on the front to kind of illuminate to see how much battery and capacity is left in it. So overall I think it's a brilliant bit of kit, it's beautifully made and yeah, <laughs> there isn't much more to say about it. Um, the only negative thing is you probably didn't get the full capacity, the 74 watt hour, only the 64, but overall I'm happy with the explanation that Power Traveller was given. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I'm going to leave it as that and uh, Thanks for watching.